Hey, we are going to talk about writing your first Mutual of Omaha app. This one is going to cover writing a Mutual of Omaha accidental death only app. Um, probably one of the easiest and fastest apps to write. Also is 100% guaranteed to be approved if you're between the ages of 18 and 70. So I'm going to share my screen so you guys can see this here. You're going to go into HQ. You're going to go to Carriers and Products. Carrier Resources, Find Mutual of Omaha, or as we call them, Moo. Go to Info, and you're just going to click click eApp here. And this is going to pull up the form, and there's a few little things that I'm going to point out to you guys on this. First, let's start a new case. This client is going to be Test, and their last name is Test. Well, let's put in their date of birth. Let's just pick some fun numbers here. Make sure they're old enough. They're 23. They're a male. And, of course, make sure to always pick the state that you're writing this business in. I am in Texas. I'm going to pick Texas here. And we have a lot of different products we can choose from. For this one, we're looking for accidental death. Find available products, guaranteed advantage. The AD is capitalized for accidental death. We're going to go in here and we're going to start the E app. Now, the first thing that they're going to do is they're going to pull in some of that information that you gave on the first screen, which is great. We're going to put their social security number in there and we're going to give them the old one, two, three, Ace Lane. They are in Dallas, Texas, 75055. I do always recommend putting in their telephone number. Um, you want to have all this information because sometimes when you get a hold of them, um, it's good to have their information on the app itself. And then always put their email address in there. I'm just going to use this one. Hopefully they're a citizen. You always want to check yes on that one. If not, it will give you extra questions, but this person is a citizen. And then we always want to put in beneficiary information. Who do they want this money to go to? This beneficiary's name is also Test. It's, it's going to be Mrs. Test, and it's just going to be their spouse, giving them 100%. We can do 50% in here. If we did 50%, then what we would do is it would say, hey, we can click here to add someone else. We can do 25%. You can add a lot of beneficiaries. Also, if they want to add a contingent beneficiary, we can click yes here and add in uh, their kids and aunt, uncle, mom, dad, whoever it may be. For the sake of going through this app quickly, uh, we're not going to do that. Um, but also note on the beneficiary here, it's really just asking for basic information. It does not require date of birth on there. Um, I typically don't get into those details because it will slow down your app process. They just need to know, hey, this is my spouse. Their name is Test Test. That is enough to link them up to this policy. And click next here. And it's going to ask us about the benefit amount. This person's doing 150000 um, we can do, if you'll see here, we can do family plans on here. Um, I've only ever really do individual plans. I'm a big advocate of each person having their own policy. If we do a family plan and the primary person passes away, everyone loses their coverage. So we always want to do individual policies. And really cool thing, we can add on return a premium on this. If we do that, that means that after 30 years of having this policy, they would actually get all of their money back. It's a really great rider to put on there. It's pretty inexpensive. Um, I believe it's only for people under the age of 50, um, but it's a no brainer to add on to almost any accidental policy for people that are young enough and make sure it fits their budget. Is this coverage applied to, is, is it applied for replacing any existing coverages? We're not gonna replace this. We really never do with an accidental. Will this coverage be applied or be added to existing coverages? If they have existing coverage, say yes and just go, hey, clients, clients needed, um, needed accidental, oof, accidental death coverage. Very simple explanation. Then they're going to ask for, oh, well, what coverage do they have? Because we're not replacing it. We don't have to give them a ton of information. We can actually go in here and go, well, what company is it with? They might know, oh, maybe it's work coverage, maybe it's this other company. Not really sure. We can actually put unknown in there. And then if you don't know the policy, we can put unknown too. Um, 
it's not a huge detail that we have to have in there. So you can easily put unknown unknown. If you do have the company's name, please put it in there. More details, the better, but it's not necessary. We're going to hit next here. And this is producer information. This is something that you don't have yet. This will normally be auto-filled once you get your numbers with Mutual of Omaha. But for now, we're going to use the General Symmetry Financial Group number. This is should auto be filled in here for you. And all you want to put in general agent office ID is SFG in here. And then you want to put your personal information, whatever that may be. This person has happens to be named test and test as well. They're um, again, date of birth, if it's not in yellow, I'm not going to fill it out. The only thing I really want you to put in is that SFG up there. They want an address in here. Let's use this one. Office name, oh, it's Agency of Valor. It's, you can put your own just first name in there. I just put that. Where are we located in? We're in Highland Village. Oh, I love autofill. I'm going to put all this in here. And then, but look, I'm going to put 9213. We're going to put Everett, like, so let's do one, one. And, but here's the thing. Notice that this is still in yellow, yellow to auto-filled. All I have to do is click on it, click out, the yellow is gone. Um, we don't have a producer ID number. We're going to leave that blank. And there's usually no additional producers. If you are splitting an app, we would say yes there. But for the sake of this, we're going to click no. And we're just going to go on to the next bit of information. I certified I did this interview with the proposed insured. I asked all the questions, did everything accurately. Of course, I did this interview in person. If you're doing this on yourself, well, of course you did. If you're doing this over a Zoom or over the phone, I'm going to put over the phone or over Zoom. So um, that's what we're filling it out for clients. If this is on yourself, then obviously that is easy to explain. Any, any reason they're replacing it? No, we went through that. Did you give notice of information of, of practices to the pros and shirt? Yes, that will be given to them in the email. We're gonna go on to the next one. This is premium summary. Everything's auto-filled. We go, oh, it's 23-year-old female, 150,000. We are going for a return of premium. This should equal what maybe you've done through the quarter. 99.9% .9 of the time, we wanna do a monthly bank service plan. I don't like to mess with credit cards. It gets a little sticky. Credit cards get weird. Then you can only do your initial payment. So even if you click yes here, we're going to, have to fill out a whole lot more information. We're going to click no because everything we do is through bank draft. We're going to go on to the next page here. We're going to collect banking info. It's payer is going to be the, the banking info. Let's say it's a checking account. Let's say it's Bank of America. Um, that's Bank of America's routing number for Texas. And then we're going to put in a complete utter fake number here. Do we want this drafted on the 1st or the 15th? Um, the big thing with this one is I want to put it the, as close as we can to where we're at. So um, I'm doing this on November 2nd. So I'm actually going to put this on the 1st. So it's going to draft here in the next couple of days. And then it's going to draft on the 1st every time. But the first one is going to come out as soon as possible. Um, if it was... If it was like the seven, if today was the 17th, um, I don't want to put the first because it's going to draft in a couple of days. Let's say it's going to draft on the 20th. It will draft again on the first. So I want to pick the 15th there. I always want to kind of move those apart. So for this one, I'm going to pick the first. I'm going to go next and I'm going to show you guys a cool little thing. Well, we have a problem here with the producer statement. There's a question mark, not a green check. We're going to go back there and go, hey, what did we miss? So this one's yellow. We didn't click in it. We didn't click out. Um, we got one little thing there. We want to fix that one. And then we want to go down, see if everything goes. Let me see if this wants me to type this in here. Let's see if it'll take that. Okay. So it is, it was kind of autofill. It's a little bit long. So we're going to put symmetry financial a G in there. It's what it'll take. Let's see if it will give us the check mark that we're looking for. All checks. Now we're going to validate and lock this and proceed to the e-signature process. The good news with this one is because this is your first app, you're writing it on yourself, you're going to send it to yourself. We always want to pick the second one here. I mean, unless you're face-to-face, -face, you, can, you can do this because you're writing it on yourself. But we want you to practice doing this as if you were sending this to a client. So do the e-signature method on this. You're going to click next on this. 
Now it hasn't sent yet. They want you to confirm emails in here. This is the client's email, an old email of mine. Click next. Now we want to go to the next one and it still has not sent it yet. So we can now go, hey, do we want to notify them through email or through text? Um, I can tell you if they're a little bit older, um, hopefully they're in front of their computer. Anyhow, email is my preferred, but you can also text it. You're going to select one of these. Um, again, I, I prefer email. Confirm that, hey, this is the agent's email address. This is, excuse me, this is the client's email address. This is the agent's. It's going to send an email to the client and it's going to send one to you. What we want you to do from here is we want you to go through the email process and sign it. Pay really good attention as you're signing it because you may have to walk clients through this. They might be a little confused. Most, it's really intuitive, but we want to make sure that you are signing this, sending it. And once you're done, you're going to be able to view the forms once it's signed. I'm not going to be able to show that to you here because I'm not going to sign this one. But you want to view the forms and you want to download a copy of the PDF and download it to your laptop because in another video, we're going to show you how to load that into Opt. Hope this was helpful. Go get them. Go write a bunch of apps.